Hi friends, today we are discussing about generalized measurement system. The generalized measurement system consists of three stages. The stage one is the detection stage, stage two is the intermediate or the signal conditioning stage and stage three is the terminating or the readout or recording stage. So the generalized measurement system can be displayed, we are displaying using a block diagram. So in this part, the measure and is sensed by the primary sensing element. That particular signal is a signal conditioning, signal conditioned, then that is fed to the readout stage. And finally, we can observe using certain instruments or recorded in series or any other devices. For example, we are first looking to the bottom two pressure gauge. So we all know that the bottom two pressure gauges it depends otherwise the input signal is the pressure due to the pressure difference in the this area the tube will expand or contract in response to that the tip of the tube is connected to the segmented lever using a link adjustable link and from the segmented lever it is connected to a gear and from the gear a dial gauge is fixed so we all know all know that the input signal is the pressure and the output signal that is the readout that we seen is the dial indicator. So the basic steps that is the stage one that is the input signal that is we are primary sensing the signal that is the measure line. So here it is the pressure then the signal is conditioning in two ways that is first the input signal is converted into the displacement that is the expansion or contraction of the tube and secondary that expansion or contraction of the tube is fed into the gear with the help of certain linkages or levers. So this is a suitable example that is the signal is manipulated even a small difference in the pressure make a large movement in the gear gears and the third stage is the indication so with the help of dial indicator we can easily read out the signals so this is the basic steps that is bottom tube act as a primary sensing element or that is a variable conversion element that is the pressure is converted into the displacement and the second step that is signal conditioning is done with the help of a tube that is connected through the linkage to the gearing arrangement and the stage 3 that is the readout stage so the gearing arrangement amplify the small displacement and the pointer rotate correspond to the displacement. This is the basic steps. When we are uh, displaying in the block diagram, so this is the basic steps. That is the pressure. The pressure is sensed by the primary sensing element that is the bottom tube. Then it is converted into displacement with the help of the data transmission elements that is the help of mechanical linkages. It is converted that the particular displacement is converted into gears so we all know that the gears is manipulated the signals and with the help of the pointer and scale the data is presented so the basic three steps are included here that is the first one is the primary sensing element that is stage one then secondary is the signal conditioning stage that includes the data, data transmission and the variable manipulation and the third step is the readout otherwise the terminating stage that is data presentation it is done with the help of the pointer and scale. So this is a suitable example for generalized measurement system. So when we look at the example, so this is the tire pressure gauge. We all know the this we all know the working of this one. So in this figure we can easily read out the details. That is, the pressure is converted into a displacement, and this time otherwise the indicator indicates the pressure inside the tire. So this is the basic step, the input is the pressure, then the piston uh, converts the pressure into force, the spring converts the force into displacement. So this is the sensing and the variable conversion and whether it is a small displacement it can be displayed in, with the help of a scale or indexing. So there is no other need of signal conditioning in this particular instrument. So the last one is readout, the readout can be, we can see the scales or pointers otherwise the digital measurement system measuring the displaying unit to see the measurements so this is an another example okay thank you